On Good Friday, on the 300th anniversary of its premiere, the Academy of Ancient Music realised a long-held ambition to perform Handel's mighty Broca's Passion at the Barbican in London. Barthold Broca's text had been set by numerous composers, but it's Handel's treatment which has stood the test of time, inviting its listeners into the heart of the Easter story. Working with scholars from around the world, the Academy have now released a CD of their revised edition, and Alexander von Ingen, the chief executive of the Academy, told us why it's so unique. We've made a brand new translation of Broca's libretto because existing translations bowdlerize the text and try and prettify it. Everyone historically has been a little shocked at quite how graphic Broca's is. Quite gruesome. There's a lot of blood and guts and gore. We share with Judas how he feels after he's betrayed Jesus. And he sings, do not leave this deed unavenged. Tear apart my flesh, crush my bones, you spirits of this cavern of torment. Punish my crime with flames, pitch and sulphur so my damned soul suffers eternal torment. And this is an extraordinarily repentant Judas who realizes just what he's done. Part of what Brockers does is to really humanize his characters. So Jesus is no longer sitting on a pedestal as the Most High. Jesus really is a human. He really is God-made man. Jesus sings about the heavy burden of sins weighing me down, the terrors of the abyss overwhelm me, a slimy, bottomless quagmire threatens to bury me, the wild fires of hell force marrow and blood from my bones and veins, and as well as all these torments, I must enjoy your wrath, O oh Father, beside which all tortures are slight. This language offers Handel an incredible opportunity to really get inside it with his music and to really paint pictures with the music around this great text. Bach's passions are passions that are based directly on the gospel text of the John or, or the Matthew, but are mainly a sort of reported action. Is this happened, that happened, and some moments of reflection about it. The Handel passion, on the other hand, is absolutely inside the moment, and it's a real drama. It, it's more of a, an opera or, or a theatre piece in, in a way. It's so intensely dramatic. We really get to know the characters as, as individuals. We get to know Peter, we get to know Judas, and they're not just people who, who do things. Judas isn't simply somebody who is reported as having betrayed Jesus. This is what Handel is such a master of. It's not just telling a story, but really telling you what's going on inside somebody, what they're feeling and how they relate to other characters. In Broca's libretto, he has all the usual biblical characters you would expect, but he also introduces a pair of allegorical characters, the daughter of Zion and the faithful soul. Both of these allegorical characters actively present and engage rather than merely commenting, and they represent, if you like, our conscience and how we might respond if we were in a similar situation. The Broca's Passion is one of Handel's three great religious works. Uh, he wrote La Resurrezione some years earlier and Messiah comes some years later. Yet the Brockers is a work that we don't really know as general listeners and it really is undeservedly and unfairly neglected. And at the Academy of Ancient Music we believe strongly that now in its 300th anniversary year, it was first performed on the Monday of Holy Week 1719 in Hamburg, that now the time is right for this work to be rediscovered for a modern audience and for us to enjoy this incredible music of Handel's once more. Alexander von Ingen, Chief Executive of the Academy of Ancient Music.